My name is Rochelle Mooney and I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. ovarian syndrome. I was diagnosed with PCOS um, in 2013. I was 23 years old at the time. I got my period when I was around 13 years old. I never had period issues. I never got cramps. I never had like, you know, the what you hear people talk about all the time. Oh, my period is the worst. I never had those types of periods. But I had PMS, which means premenstrual syndrome. I get um, agitated, irritated, whatever you may call it. I get mood swings. I get headaches. Um, I have a bigger appetite. I get really, really bloated before my period and that has been happening since the day I got my period for the first time. I missed my period for the month and I was good. It wasn't a cause for concern for me. Now the second month went by and I still didn't get a period and I was now thinking like, um, hmm, should I be concerned? I didn't even do a pregnancy test because I was not sexually active at the time. Then the third month went by and still no period. So I scheduled a, an appointment to see my doctor. It was Dr. Brown at the time. So I went in and I told Dr. Brown that it's been three months since I've gotten my period. So I was just coming in to check to make sure that everything was okay. And then he hooked me up to the ultrasound machine and uh, when I looked over on the ultrasound he was like all right you see these two things this is your ovary and your ovaries both ovaries actually are filled with cysts I have cysts I've never heard of that you know cysts on the ovaries you pretty much have polycystic ovarian syndrome he did not have much information on the disease I I had so many questions then I had answers for like he didn't even tell me anything like okay so what do I do he's like yeah just go home do some research on it and if you have questions call me I went home and I did my research on PCOS. So I went in to see my gynecologist and, you know, I expressed to the gynecologist that, okay, I was diagnosed with PCOS, so I'd like to check on that to see if there's been any changes, if things got better, if things got worse. So I did an ultrasound, um, which as soon as she saw the ultrasound, she said, okay, I do see that you have um, a bunch of cysts on your ovaries so that's the first signal that you may have PCOS. I ovulate every month so that's a good thing. I know that a lot of people, a lot of females out there with PCOS, they do not ovulate at all or if they do they ovulate at least maybe four or five times for the year which you know it's, it's devastating for individuals or women who are trying to conceive. I told her about the hair in my chin. I told her about my acne. I do so. She was like, "Well, are you trying to have a child, or are you trying to prevent um, having a child right now?" And I said, "Well, there's no rush for me right now to have a child, but I am, you know, I'm gearing towards, you know, looking to start a family. So I don't want it to be that when I am ready, I encounter any issues." So she pretty much said, okay, I'm going to order a, a couple of blood tests for you. And based on the results, we'll tell you what you're going to do. On the screen, I'm going to add 
a list of blood tests that were done. Uh, everything that I did was great. She even had me do, I cannot pronounce this word. I'm going to put it on the screen. I'm not going to try to pronounce it right now. Um, but I even did that to test my tubes just to make sure that my tubes are not blocked. encouragement to you guys out there who are trying to have children and have PCOS is don't ever give up hope. I have friends with PCOS today that are pregnant and that have been pregnant before and have had children so do not give up hope. Um, nothing happens before the time nothing in this world happens before the time if you're not trying to have a child right now but you do have pcos do not ignore your symptoms because from personal experience they will get worse over time um what i have done to kind of help me to manage some of the symptoms is i completely cut out sugars and carbs out of my diet I just tried it because I was going on vacation on Miami. I'm going to be honest. I knew I had vacation coming up. I was fat and short and I wasn't looking good. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go on a diet. I said, what's causing my belly fat and what's causing my, my fat face to be fat and all that. And I googled it and it said carbs, carbs and sugars, carbs. Plus people with PCOS already, we're not supposed to eat you know, if I sugar and carbs because that actually um, worsens the disease and makes the symptoms way, way harder. For three months, I decided no carbs, just veggies and protein and I drink a lot of water and all of that. And it worked. It worked. First of all, when I was on my no carb diet, it was rare that I was nauseous. I felt good. I felt light my my energy level was so much better my energy was so much better i was just so much like more of myself plus i shed pounds off my stomach i'm gonna attach some pictures so you can see 